Um, hi, I'm going to show you how to make your own smoke water. Smoke water is reenacting what happens after a bushfire uh, when the rains or the uh, morning dew comes and falls onto the ground. So what we're doing is we've got um, a really simple process that you can do at home. We've got a really cheapy little wok for 50 cents. I've got some pea straw burning with uh, some dried leaves and bark and things from the garden. And I've got a bowl of water beside it. Now I'm doing this under the barbecue just to keep it nice and safe. You could do this on a bigger level. You could have, you know, a drum burning closed off at the top a little bit with a bit of air getting that smoke into another drum that's infusing the water but this is just like a simple process i want to show you that you can do at home because hundreds of species that belong here in this country need to germinate with smoke water it's not a burning of the seeds it's the smoke water that's the secret so um, I've got that nice now. What we're going to do is we're going to add a bit of green because the green's going to make the smoke. Um, don't use too much eucalyptus, but you can use a little eucalyptus. I've got some wattle going as well, some hay here, um, and now that's getting a really good smoke. So I'm going to shut the lid on the barbecue, and I'm going to keep that going, like keep it adding to it, adding the piece, or adding some leaves from the garden, like just all the undergrowth from the bush. And I'm going to keep adding to that for the next hour and let that water infuse. And then you're going to take that water and you can soak your seeds in that. And then you can also um, uh, put it into a bottle and spray your seed raising bed. Uh, very lightly every day until the native plants germinate. Now this is really good for like if you want to crack your gumby gumby seed or your grevilleas, your hakeas, um, lots lots of different plants will really thrive. If you've been a little bit stumped about how to get your native to grow then this is a little secret to it. So I'm going to shut the lid now and let that water infuse over the next hour and um, as my son would say, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and hopefully um, I can give you some more hints as we go along.